Last video did kind of well, but uh, yeah, today we have another one. This is the Aula F2058 and uh, pretty similar to the other one. And uh, kind thanks to ES Gaming. They liked the first video I did for the keyboard I bought and they decided to send me a couple of more stuff for me to review and tell you whether it's worth buying. So the Aula F2058 is this keyboard worth buying now once you get the keyboard the keyboard will arrive in this box that has the familiar aula branding all over inside the box we have the keyboard itself a wrist rest and an included plastic keycap puller as I lifted the keyboard, I immediately noticed it's slightly heftier feel and this can be attributed to its aluminium top casing, which makes the keyboard feel a little bit more premium. The bottom though maintains the textured plastic casing just like the Aula S22. And uh, if you haven't already watched my Aula S22 review, be sure to watch it from the card above and also from a link in the description box. And just like the Aula S22, this keyboard comes with a non-detachable braided cable, which is nice, but for the additional price, I wouldn't have minded the inclusion of a detachable cable. Now let's talk about the wrist rest. It attaches magnetically to the keyboard, offering comfort with its textured plastic surface and rubber fit to keep it steady during intense typing stroke gaming sessions. Now, if we take a peek under the keycaps, we will find that this keyboard houses the same KRGD blue mechanical switches as the Aula S2022. They are clicky and tactile, but unfortunately are not hot swappable. And yes, them being blue switches, they are noisy as ever, although I did notice a slight difference in the sound due to the aluminium top. Now, one of the biggest difference between the Aula S22 and this keyboard is that this keyboard comes with dedicated media keys and a volume knob, which also doubles as a lighting control. Plus, there's a nifty button in the middle of the volume knob to switch between volume control and lighting effects with ease. Speaking of lighting, this keyboard boasts RGB with various lighting effects to suit your mood. However, for the price increase, I wouldn't have minded if the RGB was addressable, which seems to be a trend or rather a common trait among budget mechanical keyboards. So yeah, in terms of um, the keyboard software, this is what... Uh or rather this is the experience uh you will go to aulastar.com just like last time go to aula international which is uh, over at the driver page and of course it's going to give you or rather bring you um to a google drive link which again i find strange and uh download the zip file which will give you something like this or rather this is what is inside the zip file and uh, once you proceed to install the software it's going to look something like this as you can see it looks pretty similar to the Aula S2022 driver, which uh, I'm kind of wondering why they can't have a unified software for Aula products. Because I mean, if you buy multiple products, let's say like for me, in my case, I'm reviewing multiple products. It means I have to keep on re-downloading new software just to, you know, control or rather to have drivers for the new device. So Aula, please just have one unified software. Uh, that would really make... Um, life a little bit easier so one unified software that can automatically download the drivers for the peripheral or rather what you bought from aula and uh yeah the software is basic as it gets just like last time and uh again not a big fan of macros panel led settings and again uh once we go over to panel led again the image doesn't update it does show you the keyboard though with the with the with the with the wrist rest. so i mean there is that but uh, yeah, the effects are pretty much the same. Again, I'm going to include a video to demonstrate uh, the effects. Again, we have swim, rainbow wheel. We have uh, retinue scanning. I don't know, respire, crossfire. You know, I actually like crossfire a lot. 
And uh, yeah, the effects are the same. Maybe I would have expected to see some newer effects, considering that this is a price bump over the Aula S2022, but uh, seems to be pretty much uh, the same effects as the last uh, review. So yeah, we have our speed controls, we have our brightness controls, but again, for brightness, at least you can control that with, uh, I mean, even on the other keyboard, you could control it by pressing FN and some of one of these keys up here, but uh, for brightness, at least we can control with this knob, so we don't have to use the software. But uh, yeah, the software is as basic as it gets. I mean, at this price point, you don't really expect anything much or anything special. But again, it's my plea to Aula if there's anyone watching this video from them or if maybe ES Gaming, the guys who provided this keyboard, can talk to them and ask them to maybe unify their software to make um, installing of drivers and peripherals or rather the software experience unify the software experience to make things a little bit easier so yeah this is the keyboard in terms of its software so yeah guys we've come to the end of the video and uh, yeah I don't know if I should recommend this over the Ola S22 because it's really not that different from that keyboard other than you know the aluminium build, the dedicated uh, media keys up here, you know, the dedicated uh, volume knob and um, light effects knob. This is pretty much the same keyboard. I wouldn't necessarily say it's a big upgrade. So I can still recommend the Aula S2022 if you're on a tight budget, but maybe if you're looking for a better build, maybe dedicated media keys and you know, this volume knob thing is something you like or something you want in your keyboard then yes go ahead and buy this one instead and again i want to thank es gaming for providing this so be sure to go check them out show them some love and uh you know uh help them make more sales because if they benefit i benefit you benefit i like to look at these things that way so thank you for tuning in uh comment down on the comment section for the algorithm save uh, <laughs> algorithm's sake so drop a like and comment and uh yeah maybe comment any other aula products you would like to see on the channel and uh yeah i should see you in the next one